Okay, uh, Teemo top lane. Got our flash teleport. We got our nine utility points for the biscuits. And I think I'm gonna start E. I think that's the plan. I don't know. Uh, I can't really think of a scenario where starting Q would be good. Except maybe if we're trying to burst someone. So I won't level up anything yet. And uh, if we catch someone as a group or something, then I will press Q on them and hope they die from my team. So I'm up against Nar top. So let me just fix this real quick. Bada bing, bada boom. And we're good. Um, so. Gonna just go. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. All right, we good. Just gonna go top. Um, actually, real quick, just in case, I'm gonna go place a little scouting trinket at the rates, just in case Nar decides to do them level one. I don't know how good Nar is at clearing camps level one. Um, I'm a little distracted by the chat because they just asked me a question, but. I don't know how good Nara is doing camps level 1, but I guess if he tries to do it, we'll see. I'll just walk to lane. Why am I even recalling? So, um, most likely going to start E. Also, a little quick uh, side note. At the end of the video, I'm probably going to put up this uh, small, very, very small, short vlog attached to this video. Uh, explaining some stuff about potential supporting things and stuff and some things I can get back to you guys. So anyway, back to the game. Um, gonna start E. Looks like Nari isn't doing the camp, so he's either gonna show up right away or he's double jungling. He's probably either doing wolves by himself or he is with the enemy jungler killing jungle camps and he's gonna get level 2 really fast faster than I can get, but I'm going to push a little bit just so I have a minion advantage, because he's going to come to lane level 2, and man, everyone's doing that lately. Man, they all had to attack that one, didn't they? Everyone's double jungling. I don't know what's so popular about it, but everyone's doing it. They're all coming to lane level 2. It's super annoying, because I can't level 1 harass anymore, and that's so fun is to level 1 harass, especially as Teemo. So, only missed that one CS. Looks like Nar's using teleport right now. Just gonna press Q just in case I didn't have time to auto attack. Yep, he has four potions and a green ward. That's fantastic for him. It's awful for us. I hate my life. But we have to be careful because we didn't see them at the rates. So, chances are he started blue, which means he could be ganking top first. And with Nar having Mega Nar in level three, I could be in danger. So I'm going to go ahead and level up W for some move speed. Oh, I have seven seconds left. I hope I get to this cannon in time. Alright, we got the cannon. I'm going to miss some CS here, but I need to go place the ward because I could get ganked any moment. need to make sure I'm not ganked early because if I'm ganked early, then I'm going to have a bad time. I'm going to proc his Meganar because I don't want him to sit on that bar just in case he's going to get a gank. And if he is going to get a gank for him... I'd rather him not have Meganar so he can press W and CC me and stuff. So I'm just going to let it push into me. The minion wave is kind of built up on his side. So I'm just going to, you know, let his Meganar go down a little bit. Press blind, he can't really hit me. So he only got the damage from the jump on me, but I pressed blind at the right time. He didn't press Q or W on me, so the overall trade, he didn't get much damage on me. So it was worth it for me. He does, however, have four potions. I would normally, as early game Teemo, be a lot more aggressive. Let me note that. I would definitely be more aggressive as early game Teemo. However, he got level two early, and yeah, he came back to lane with four potions. So, oh, I don't, I don't think that's gonna live. Yeah, darn it. I'm gonna press. Oh, oh, I actually got it with an auto attack. Cool. I didn't think I'd have enough. Okay, apparently I didn't have enough. That's weird. I don't know why. Oh, okay. Well, we're 22 CS to 24, so we could have been even, but we failed at the last second. We're going to start harassing a little bit when uh, we can find opportunities to, but we, we aren't as aggressive because if we trade as frequently as I normally would be, uh, I would run out of potions way before him, so I just want to make sure that the trades we take, I'm not getting hit by his W, like the silver bolts thing from Vayne, like, you know, if it procs three times then it's a ton of damage. So I'm going to try to make sure that doesn't happen to me. 
and um, I'm gonna take short trades, usually an auto queue or something. That's bad, I shouldn't have taken that queue, that was careless and bad. But I have TP, he doesn't. Bot lane doesn't really look gankable right now, I mean Vayne's out of lane. Um, you know, nothing, there's no real place to TP to anyway, there's no ward behind them. I, even my gank pressure when I TP, like, oh, that's an F1. Eve top, she showed. I mean, I know, I know that's not gonna cover it, but I mean, I'm just gonna sit back. I'm damn, I might even get dove here. If he gets level six off of this, I might just get dove and die. That's a definite possibility. I hope he doesn't get six off of this. Oh wow, that's a very long range. I'm gonna use my biscuit just in case I get dove. Normally I wouldn't use my potion at that high HP with full mana, but. I don't want to take the risk of getting dove and die, because if I lose all this experience, I'll be really sad. Alright, looks like Evelyn's mid, nothing to worry about anymore. Sucks that Wukong died, but we had to take precautionary measures just because we saw her. Even though she knew that we saw her, she might have stuck around thinking, oh, we saw her, there's no way she'd actually stay. And then she stayed, because we'd be out mind gaming ourselves. So I have level 6 now, not enough auto attacks. Oh, cool, cool. Got most of it. I'm only down 5 CS. Could be worse. Gonna do a little more harassing. He's down one potion. I'm down one potion. Uh, really sucks. That was really bad of me. I missed right clicked. And I took this silver bolt proc thing. So, bad trade by me. Ooh, that almost hit me. It's close. Uh, but farming is just fine, honestly. Like, as I said, he had way too many potions for me to be harassing a lot with. And, um, I have a lot of money, but the more money I back with, the better. I'm gonna want to get something with cooldown reduction, so honestly, I think my first item is going to be Morello's. I'm not sure where that stands as far as worth in comparison to, like, a large rod. But I do know that, um, Morello's is super awesome on Teemo. Like, having the mana regen for, uh... I mean, the mana regen is super important, as well as the cooldown reduction. Being able to max, since I'm maxing Q, having Q up as often as possible is essential to doing damage in skirmishes in the mid game. So getting cooldown reduction in a big item that gives me a lot of AP, like Morello, is like pretty much perfect. Now that being said, a large rod could give me a big, bigger burst of AP, but I wouldn't have cooldown reduction, so he, you know, I'd press it once and be done, which isn't cool. Alright, I'm gonna use my potion. Definitely gonna be recalling soon. But honestly, like, our Warwick is level 6 now. That's another thing. Their jungler is way more gank heavy than mine is, so me just sitting back under tower and farming all early game isn't even a bad thing, because it plays around um, my jungler as well. The blind, dude! Oh my god, he missed Q. I I can't even say like I did anything correctly, because honestly, I stood next to Meganar when he was about to transform. So that was bad on my part, because, you know, I got in range to get ulted. Which I did get ulted, so you saw that penalty. Like, I almost died. But, uh, he dove poorly, and yeah. Uh, yep. So, full Morellos, right off the bat. Grabbing more potions, because why not? Honestly, I'm not even going to TP back to lane, because if I TP back to lane and Nard doesn't, then he will have map pressure over me. If he teleports down, they could get Dragon. They could gank bottom. Ooh, good heal, good heal. Nice. I, I'm not even going to bother TPing because Warwick's got that covered. If I see Nard TP, then I'll consider it. But there's no real good places to TP to anyway. It looks like they have it handled either way. I could have potentially, like, teleported to that pink ward at Dragon, but, I don't know, not really worth it. Looks like Nar is going the greedy solo queue build. I mean, I can't even call it solo queue build, because it's a really good build, but looks like he went Phage first. But, I mean, after dying, you'd think he'd want to go with, like, a magic resist item or something. I'm not, I mean, I don't know, don't ask me, but pretty sure getting some form of magic resist when I could have potentially gotten a huge lead off of that kill is a smart thing to do. 
Just gonna play some shrooms in the lane in case Evelyn tries to lane gank me at any point. Um, he obviously sees me placing them, but it's really hard to communicate in solo queue where mushrooms are. So I'm just gonna let it be. He can see me place them, I don't really care. That could have been a really bad trade for me. I had to place that mushroom down to have pressure of the lane. Because if I just let him walk up to me, then he could have kept proccing his W on me and slowing me down with this Q in, in mini NAR form. So I had to be really careful about that. Used a lot of mana and one of my stacks to do it, but I had to, or else I could have potentially taken a lot of damage. Which would obviously be really bad, because taking damage is bad. But getting some decent poke down. I'm gonna place a randomly located shroom. Getting the good stuff right. Oh, he's running right into it, man. Oh my god, he's down for the count. See, if he had magic resist, he would transform into Mega Nar, he would press W on me, he could ult me, he could throw the building at me. But instead, he went Phage, he went for the damage, died before transforming, and boom. Meanwhile, I didn't notice what happened bot lane. Looks like they got their tower taken. I could have sworn they had it under control, but maybe something crazy went on. Looks like they got Dragon as well. Oh no, we got Dragon, so... Okay, so we got Dragon, kill top laner again, that's good. Looks like he's using TP, so I can recall now. And I can TP wherever I want. I can TP back to lane, I can TP mid lane, I can TP anywhere, and he won't be able to match it, so... Maybe he'll throw down a lantern or something... I can't really TP to anything, unfortunately. So, just, I mean, I could buy a ward, but I can't buy a pink ward, and it's an Evelyn, so I'm just gonna go here. All right, gonna TP here, so they're getting zoned off. Honestly, it's not so much to get the kill, it's to secure my team's safety. They were all very low, and with a full health Tristana and full health Syndra, um, anything could have happened. So I lost some CS top lane, but honestly it is worth it. Like I secured the safety of my team, which is really important, because if we had traded kills there rather than just getting kills in our favor, um, the enemy might have gotten too strong. So unfortunate that no kills were brought to that teleport, but it, it's, you know, everyone's alive on my team, and that's important. Alright, Juke's W, got a nice Q in, worth. Missing CS to the tower though, that is a thing to remember. I still have even CS with Gnar almost, only like, what, 4 off, 5 off, but overall, um, very even in CS, and we both, neither of us have teleport and Dragon is down, so it's very much a 1v1 unless a gank happens. I just have to keep dodging his Qs, and I have tier 2 boots now, so I'll be able to run up and poke him with Qs like that. Now that I have the mobility, uh, basically, unless he hops away, I can run up and queue him whenever I want. See, just like that. I'm gonna flash away. Because there's no way I would live without flashing. There's no way it would have happened. He was about to proc Meganar, Evelyn used ult, you top, no ult. Like, I had to do it, there was no other way I was living. But, yep, that's the, uh... Downside of playing Teemo, I mean, no flash, or rather, no gap closer. Don't know where they are, but Evelyn's mid, gonna clear this ward. Yeah, they're too far away for me to do anything. Oh gosh, Warwick's in trouble? Nah, he's, he's good, he's good. I'm just gonna push tower. Um, have biscuits. I'm gonna start placing down some shrooms in case anything happens. Uh, they're definitely gonna come up top like really, really, really soon, if not right now. So, yeah, there he is. Boom! Take the harass. It's points like these that I wish I had ignite because I could just like dive him. Oh, he thought I was going over here, so he ran away, and he's missing some CS under the tower now too. That being said, I could still die to Evelyn. I'm going to start using my biscuits even though I'm full HP. Just because, you know, 
I I need mana because if I get ganked, oh, there's Trist. That was convenient vision given by my uh, shrooms there. She didn't proc them, so they assume the bush is clear more or less, and I know Trist is top. So yay me. I have a lot of money. I'm probably going to go recall really, really, really soon for a large rod for that burst of AP. I'm using my mana now, so if I get ganked, I'm in trouble. Looks like Thresh is here to, for potential backup, though. So I'm actually just going to assume that he'll stay back with the lantern, which it looks like he is, and I'll start hitting this tower. If Evelyn and Trist jump on me randomly, then I'll have a lantern to get out, and I'll be all, all good, all good. But tower pressure, super awesome. Good job, Thresh, for keeping me back up. Definitely wouldn't have been able to do that if he wasn't there. I mean, in hindsight, I would have been able to because they weren't there to protect it in time, but in the grand scheme of things, oh, mana. Big money. It's kind of going to let him know that I have to go spend my stuff. Uh, buy a large rod, and let's buy a Lugan? No, no, no. We'll, we'll get Death Cap. Death Cap's super important on Team I feel, just because you need as much AP as possible. Because, I mean, look at this base damage. It's already so high, and with a really good AP ratio, it's like having more AP the better. I'll, I'll probably get, like, Spell Pen, maybe Landry's. Looks like uh, Evelyn is building some HP after this. So I'll more than likely get Leandries or something after this Death Cap. Maybe into something like Void Staff or even Hourglass. I might have to fast forward that Hourglass purchase, depending. Yeah, I had to cancel that TP. I like, I, I used it to try and say like, hey, don't go there, I'm teleporting, I'll hurt you, but uh, they had such a big advantage in the fight already that me teleporting actually didn't do anything. So that's a big throw, uh, unfortunate. That wasn't there or closer or whatever. I'll just play Shroom here for a potential escape. And we'll see what happens. Okay, well, I didn't have enough damage quite to get him. If he, if he landed on that shrimp too, it would have made something, but I don't have Ignite, I didn't have Flash. Oh, hey, there you are. More damage. So I definitely have the pressure right now. Like, they're all pretty low. Um, so we, we can push mid. I got decent poke down on Trist and Evelyn. Looks like Warwick might be going in for some blood. He's got blood scent and Moby boots. Well, he had, looks like he had to back off. Super fast, though. Uh-oh. That's hurtful. Hurting me in the inside. I'm gonna recall. Because I have no mana. This is the mana regen I was talking about. Imagine if I didn't have this mana regen from Morello's. Imagine how much low mana I would have all the time. Just from placing shrooms. Shrooms are so heavy on mana. 100 per. 100 per, per shroom. And I place like 3 shrooms at a time. It's half my mana. But not to mention any like 100 mana darts that I throw out or whatever. Oh cool, more damage. Looks like they proc'd a shroom and they're both kind of hurt a little bit. So I'm going to go replace some shrooms around, <coughs> excuse me, around Baron. Just because I predict that they're going to want to be hitting top tower pretty soon. Oh, yo, that flash hook, though. Yeah, there's no way I'm catching up to Syndra realistically. I'm just gonna kite her out. Dodged her stun, but not, not much more I can do after that. Oh, man, he just he just did it. He did the big. I'm gonna run to my shrooms, because that's all I can do. Help! Oh, my God, he's so strong! Alright, I'm alive! No, the minions! Don't do it to me! Okay, we're alive. Live boys. I was so certain I was dead there, but holy moly, that was that was a close one. Good job team though. They counter through to our initial throw and we're getting some mid-tower damage. Throw sure in there, max E. Now I have five points in E, five points in Q, and I'm ranked two ultimate. So that's some pretty good damage power spike. I'm also oh I'm so close. I'm just gonna wait for the money. And I'll buy my death cap, and I'm really, really strong right now. Uh, my farm isn't that, even that bad. Usually as Teemo, your farm is kind of low, just because your wave clear sucks, and if you're getting pushed under tower, 
then you know it's really hard to get CS. But overall, my CS this game has been fairly fine. I haven't really missed many. I've missed some under tower in the early game as you saw, but overall my CS this game has been pretty nice. Looks like she's at red buff, she just used smite. Oop, oop. Yep, there's uh, there's some DPS for you. About 400 damage to the tank with Merc Treads, so that's not bad damage. Still got my protective shrooms here in case they decide to flank. Looks like they're on uh, Wukong top lane though, so that, that was really nothing more we could do. That was just like him overextending and getting caught out. Not much really we can do about that. We're not in position on the map to do anything about it. I'm gonna run towards this Trist. Yep, was expecting that. Not expecting Cinder though. That's a big deal. My should I to, yeah, she died to red. Okay, this farm is mine. Oh yeah, farm. Delicious, delicious farm. Oh yeah, reworked Teemo by the way. Didn't mention it. If you guys haven't been in the loop, this Teemo is reworked. His ultimate has increased range every, you know, skill point you put into it. So 6, 11, and 16, the more points you put into your ult, you can increase the range at which you can throw your ultimate out, as well as if you throw one ult on top of the other ult, they actually bounce off each other and go even further. So potentially really far placements for your ultimate on new Teemo. So now that I've got 24% cooldown reduction, a lot of AP, I'm definitely gonna go for Leandries because I don't see myself getting caught out too much this game, like I've been doing pretty good about staying away. So I'm gonna get Leandries, um, and a pink ward, as well as a sweeper. So that'll be nice, get some vision control, deny their vision. Uh, really important, especially now in the mid game that I'm roaming around way more than I was before where I was just staying top. Uh, making sure that we have more vision than them is pretty much a uh, like, essential part of the game. Like, controlling vision is super important, and it looks like Dragon is spawning in 20 seconds, so perfect recall timing, unintentionally, from me. Getting the pink ward to secure some vision, as well as the sweeper to be up more or less soon. Placing them shrooms where they need to be placed. Boom, bouncing. We bouncing, boys. Look at that range. Boom, placing shrooms. There's no way that they'll get this for free. They gotta hit the shrooms, boys. Alright, I guess they see it with a sweeper. Darn it. But whatever, we got dragon. Anything more is greed. This is all greed. Anything that happens is bad. Greed is not good in this game. Oh boy. That's not something I can run into. Easily. This was all a mistake from the start. Yeah, that sucks. We got the dragon. We got the objective. The objective was secured, and he went for kills. That was a mistake. I'll just let them know for the future. Objective was secured. Don't greed kills. Okay. Press Q to secure the cannon minion, because we all know how much we love cannon minions. Oh, we thought. Okay. Oh, oh, he, he's got the damage, but looks like she has too much backup. Can't really do much here. Well, they're not doing Baron, which is nice. Maybe I can catch off Evelyn with this uh, thing. Oh, hey, she stayed. That's crazy. Yep. Super nice. I actually am like really happy with how I played that. Um, could have been so much worse. I, I spaced abilities nicely. I dodged um, Nar Q in mini form. I was cutting off. I was covering options by running up here, uh, preventing Evelyn from potentially escaping. Um, just a lot of good things. I mean. Like, if I had known exactly how they were going to be positioned, would I have done the fight a little differently? Yes. But with the information I had, I'd say that was a really good decision making by me. And, uh, you know, not to sound like full of myself, but I'm, I'm really happy with how I played that. All that was pretty much uh, as, good, as good as it gets.
realistically. So just placing some shrooms on my way out, getting some escape routes uh, prepped, and maybe some future just random d DPS. Like if they're if we're gonna go run Baron, if they're in lane farming or wherever, they just run on a shroom. I mean that's pressure. Every shroom they step on is pressure. So now before I forget, I'm just gonna buy home guards now. Get some green wards because vision wins games. You never have enough wards. This is bad. This is really bad. It's probably Baron, and we keep throwing over and over. So there goes Baron. Uh, they're not killing it too fast. I mean, they're killing it kind of fast, but like I, I can't do anything about that. They have too much CC. Yeah, sorry, Maze. Not much else I can do here. Can I maybe stop Nautilus? All right, well, we're stopping their recalls, which is nice. We're wasting every single second that we can with, with their Baron timer. Yep. This is good. Delaying recalls is never a bad thing. I see Cinder Ball. She's potentially waiting for a kill over the wall, so I'm not going to chase any further. Um, so that's okay. They did get Baron, which sucks really bad, but delayed some recalls. Um... They won't be pushing instantly, like they're still going to push as fast as possible because they want to use up that Baron, but, you know, they won't be using it instantly, so. Let me get some wave clear in here. And I'm going to start, oh, 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 again, oh god, that's not good. Um, okay, let's go ahead and assume they're going to push mid or bottom. I'm going to say bottom. I can't really judge perfectly based on their positioning, but I'm going to lay some traps bottom just in case. Because if they do push bottom, then I'll have some traps set up, which will be nice. Damn. Oh, this is going to be hard to kill. If they have improved sweeper, rip my traps. Oh, there's a trap there, right on the Syndra. Vein going in. Oh damn, press him blind. Holy crap. That was a lot of damage from Tristana. I still have my traps down. There's one left, but... Oh, they're taking tower damage. Can he do it? The auto. The another auto. One more. Oh, too... Too slow. Uh, that was an ace, apparently. Not really sure where that came from. Definitely not on the same page as my team this game. Darn, unfortunate. That Tristana did so much damage to me, holy moly. Oh, I got hit by a Cinder Q as well. I could have sworn like Tristan almost one-shot me with like an auto crit ultimate or something. And Wukong doesn't do as much damage as I was expecting. Or no, 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 never mind. He does, he does do damage. This Evelyn is actually just tanky as hell against armor, like Randman's Frozen Heart, Ninja Tabby. It's not Wukong's fault at all that he, uh, you know, didn't do too much damage to Evelyn. But either way, Dragon's about to spawn. They're low HP. Oh god, Warwick, now's not the time, man. We don't, we want objectives, man. That's not good. What? What? Okay, well, I'm running away, but what the heck was that? Alright, they caught out Nautilus, which is nice. Syndra and Nar were kind of taken care of. I don't know what to do about this Nar. He's just building rage. I'm just gonna wave clear a bit. We want to get this dragon. They're catching off people one by one, which is nice, but it looks like they're in deep trouble now, which means we're probably not gonna get this dragon. Oh man, this game is really rough. Nobody's okay. I have TP, but I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'm gonna sell this just so I can get Landry's as fast as possible, pick up another pink ward. I don't even need to TP, I need to defend the base.
Dang, man, this game is super rough. Let's regroup, okay. Just gonna try to let everyone know, like, hey, man, we're going a little crazy. Let's chill. Um, we did get some kills, but cost us the fourth dragon, which is a pretty big deal. But we have our pink ward again. We can help, you know, get vision and deny vision, of course. We can go to mid here. Got rank three shrooms now. That was crazy. By both Thresh and Nautilus. If Nautilus hit that, then he was dead. And if Thresh hit that, then he was dead. But they both missed and they're both alive. It's crazy. But yeah, rank 3 ultimates. You can see the range. It's pretty freaking nice. So it looks like we're just on the back foot here. Baron's up in a minute and a half. Um. Only thing I can do is like play shrooms and do damage to overextended targets. I'm gonna go for a um, an hourglass next. I would normally like to go for void staff, but they're actually so strong. Like if that Tristana gets onto me, I need hourglass right away. If that Nar gets onto me, I need hourglass. If that Cinder presses R on me, I need hourglass. There's just so many instances that I need to hourglass, and I feel like. Just having a Void Staff, although my damage would be sweet, I don't think it'll be good in the long run. So Nautilus gets caught out. Again, as I said, he hit the hook, but he's he's, he's dead. I mean, what else is he going to do? He's... Meanwhile, Evelyn used her ult, so we know that much. Uh, Wukong is going to die, but Evelyn used her ult, so info is info. Check this for vision. Uh, we can't really do much. Baron soon. I really want a large rod on my next recall, but I don't have much mana. I'm just gonna TP now. I really want to get large rod on my next recall, but I don't think I can. Baron's gonna be up to five seconds. Throwing shrooms, getting vision. That that's that's vision, all right. They can keep killing them, so like throwing them, they're just gonna die. But I don't know, maybe I can throw one here or something. Oh, they have a pink ward, so that's unfortunate. Yeah, that Baron is theirs. Unless they turn on. Yep, nope, that's that's theirs. Let's peace out. Getting some good damage on that uh, Evelyn, though. So, their frontline is a little weakened. Nar isn't, but their other frontliner. That's a stun, and I need Hourglass, and I'm dead. Awesome! Alright! Loving it. Um, this game went horribly. Or at least it did at the end. Man, it went so well to start. I'm sad that this is how it had to end. Um, still a really good game, though, overall. May I'm up at 25. Maybe they won't end fast enough. They do have Baron minions, but they're all super low. Maybe they won't be able to take everything. I don't really know. I mean, who knows? Maybe they will. Maybe they'll take everything, and I'm not even close, but... Oh, the throws. Alright, there's one. Maybe they'll only get an inhibitor. You got a hook on the AD carry, that's less downtime on uh, DPS. Press exhaust. I mean, it's probably over, because it's only me and Warwick and there's four of them, but who knows? Yeah, it's over. You can't get to them, and I was CC'd. Darn it. Okay, well, uh, really good game for us individually, though. I think a lot was done. Uh, you know, we had good pressure, we had okay TPs, I think, maybe? I mean, maybe not the most proactive TPs, but definitely uh, reactive in a good way, I think. Um, I'm going to keep the outro short, just because, as I said, I'm going to attach a little vlog to the end of this that will, you know, be faded into really quickly, um, explaining some potential stuff that you guys could get 
for supporting me and stuff and things and stuff. So uh, this video was actually made because of my first uh, supporter on this this website that I signed up for. So uh, it was a loss, which sucks. But I mean, you know, there's a lot of really good information in here, and uh, it's Teemo. So we played it. We did damage. We played shrooms. We we did it. We did it good. Did it big and fast and. That's how I like it. So, uh, yep, I'll go to the vlog now. But thanks for watching. Hey, so first off, I'm going to start by saying I'm reading from a script because I have way too many words to say uh, without stuttering. I'm probably going to deviate from the script, more than likely, but there's some main points I have written down. So, if you've never watched my stream before, and this might be your first time seeing me, and this is what I look like. So,. Now that's out of the way, uh, I'm going to talk very, very briefly, as brief as I can, about this website I signed up for, Patreon. And basically, I signed up for this website because I'm nowhere near famous enough on Twitch TV to have a partnership or a sub button, and I don't have a large enough following on YouTube to have sponsors or have any monetization of any value. So I don't make any money at all from those things that most uh, popular people do. And any, mon any money that I have made has been from the generosity of my friends, my family, and as YouTube, I believe, would say commonly, is my fans. So we don't say fans a lot on Twitch, but on YouTube, I think you do. So friends, family, and fans is where I've gotten the most of my money. And um, basically, I'll say every video I make, every stream that I broadcast, um, they will remain completely free all the time. I'm expecting no money whatsoever. However, some of you guys seem to like me a lot. Those reasons, I'll, I'll leave to you. But by going to the website that I signed up for, that I linked in the description, uh, you're given the option to support me uh, by selecting any amount, even $1, to send me at the beginning of each month automatically. That being said, it's a little different because there are some incentives. I listed those incentives on the website uh, that I thought were reasonable and that I were capable, or I was capable of giving you. If you were so kind enough to decide to help me out, that is. So, seeing as how I've been living without my parents for almost a year now, anything I make pretty much goes to surviving and paying rent and whatnot. So I figured, you know, I mean, if people are out there, you know, maybe one of my YouTube subscribers is an oil prince. Maybe you'll uh, find it in your heart. Uh, you know, spot me a, 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 a dollar. That'd be nice. But anyway, point is, uh, this video, the Teemo one, was created per request of my first supporter who said, you know what, I would like to see a Teemo video. And so I said, I will do my best. And here it is. Uh, so I figured this would be a good place to make the vlog. Um, anyway, I, I don't want to ramble on any, any longer. So last but not least, you know, thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoy my content, or continue to keep enjoying my content, and remember that there are no obligations, only opportunities. So, again, check it out, it'll take two seconds, you can read what I wrote down on the website, short little about me slash profile thing, and it'll have some buttons. Uh, there are values listed, I believe I listed a $1, a $5, $10, and a $50. I'm not expecting anything, to be honest, I'm expecting zero, but those amounts are not restricted to what you can pay. You can click on one of them, if you so wish, and you can select a specific amount. It can be $3, it can be $60, it could be 7 it doesn't matter. The point is that those are set amounts that are, you know, benchmarks for incentives. So you can read them if you want, check it out, won't take much time. If not, all good, keep enjoying the free content. Love you for watching, you know, thanks a bunch. Um, I'm gonna go saying thanks one more time. I've rambled on a lot, but yeah. So, there it is. Uh, thanks a lot, Thank thanks a lot.